Let's go. American magic. I really like my job. At the America's Cup, you kind of have a blank slate to solve one problem, and that problem is f figure out what's the fastest boat. You know, in the sail design department and the aero department, there's always room to improve. You can make changes to the shapes right up until the end. There's rules in how much you can change, but you can change the shape of your sail if you find you need to remote it or something like that uh, until the last race if you need to. So even when we pull the trigger on the last designs, we'll be able to, to manipulate them. But you're only allowed to build six mainsails and 15 jibs. If you want to preserve that number, to, so that you can have fresh sails and correct sails, um, but at the end of the day, you have to build in the time it takes to build them and, and actually get them on the water, make sure they're correct. Um, that's probably been the biggest area of development within the teams, I would imagine, is really pushing the boundaries of 3DI and, uh, and understanding the limits of it and what really the structure can do for your sail shape. The product itself um, and the way we use it allows the designers a lot of freedom um, to, to really manipulate sail shapes. You know, really low stretch, really stiff, really durable. These sails last, you know, they, they just last forever. We use them over and over again and we don't, we really don't even think about the, the usage from a performance point of view. You know, everyone's gonna build fresh sails for their races, of course, but you don't go out there and go, you know, this, the sail's getting old, it's, you, you can keep pushing day in and day out with the product, and that, that is something that's probably pretty unique to it. To design it is a very good question, because you always take as much time as you can. Um, you always push push the deadlines as, as hard as you can. You can work on a new design for a few weeks based on what you know, um, and kind of get it pretty refined. And then from when you hit the submission button, it takes about 30 days in Minden to tape and mold the sail, um, then about a week to ship it. If you have something that you think is, you know, a game changer and, and you want to keep it, then you can manipulate the, the sail layout or, you know, paint the sail and try and hide it as best you can. Um, but then we all start speculating on what, what each other are doing, so. There's always nerves that go with hoisting a sail for the first time and making sure you've achieved your goals. It is actually really fun for me in a way where we're just always searching, always trying to find the next fastest thing or the best thing, and fast can mean a lot of different things in this in this game. You know, design something and see the sailmakers build it and then see it on the water, that's, that's, that is fun too, um, to design and build something. So far it's been a pretty amazing experience, but that learning experience um, throughout the whole past two, three years or whatever has been really um, pretty awesome.